Why does the secret and the law of attraction work? And why does it sometimes not work? Stay tuned. Damon here with NLP Gym. The secret and the law of attraction. Why does it work sometimes and why does it not work sometimes? If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. So the law of attraction, uh, the secret, uh, this became really, really popular, really rather famous, uh, not quite 20 years ago, and uh, it made a lot of money. It's great marketing, and I've been really critical about it ever since it came out. And uh, people have found this, people who know me find this kind of odd that I would be so critical about it. This seems to be right up my alley. This seems to be right in the same field that I get into. And the reason that is that I am very critical about it is because there's a little too much woo-woo in it for me. There is a little too much left up to chance. And one of the reasons why I love NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is because it is more science-based. It is more... Uh, about finding the actual process, the strategy, the details, why does this work, and when I know why this works and how it works, then I can replicate the results. And until you know that, you don't really know how to replicate the results. And if you're like me, I've tried many things like the secret and the law of attraction, and sure, sometimes it works, but a lot of times it doesn't work. So why is that? The law of attraction and the secret markets and packages things a lot of times as if you don't really have to do anything. All you have to do is make visual images of something and suddenly the universe is going to turn into your servant and just sort of hand you what you need. Now, I know a lot of people who played a role in the movie The Secret and who have written things in line with that don't actually say this. They don't actually teach that. But that's more how it was packaged. And I'm very critical of that because I'm just the same way that I'm very critical of weight loss supplements and exercise equipment and things that try to uh, pander to the people who don't want to do any work. And it's this idea that, well, yes, you don't have to do anything and it's not your responsibility that you're overweight. And we can show you something that basically you don't have to change anything about your life or who you are and you will get what you want. That's just not true. <laughs> You have to make changes in your life to get what you want. In order to change and, and get new things or to be successful, um, you do have to change. And there's no way around that. And that's not a bad thing. That's that it's, Sure, it's uncomfortable sometimes, but that's a good thing. I heard one person say, you know, they have now all this so uh, computer software and technology where you can sort of put the certain beta waves or alpha waves, whatever it is, that is the same as a Buddhist monk who's meditated for 30 years. They can sort of replicate that and send those waves into your brain and you can experience that. And I heard somebody say one time, that's not what it's about. That's not what meditating for 30 years is about. It's not just creating those waves. That's sort of like the nice symptom that occurs. But it's about sitting down and meditating for 30 years consistently. That having that discipline is a huge part of it and you can't bypass that. So when it comes to the secret, when it comes to the law of attraction, there's very simple NLP things that you can implement that make that happen. So, for instance, when there's something you want, or some, some person, the kind of person you want to be, and you make a mental image of that, and you make it compelling with using submodalities, meaning if a bright, colorful picture seems compelling to you, and for most people it is, but not everybody, they might have to do other things to the picture to make it compelling, then you're more likely to be drawn toward that, especially if you see an image of yourself having that thing that you want or being the person who you want. That's just one way. Now, you, can, you don't have to do this just visually. You can do it kinesthetically, like for an athlete, the feeling that they get whenever they win a race and they're, the way their body's moving and they know that they're, they're making it. Um, you know, an athlete can do this kinesthetically. You don't have to be an athlete either to do it kinesthetically. Uh, you can do it with sound. Uh, especially for you mu musicians, you might need to hear certain music and you're drawn to that sound, so you create that kind of music. And again, you don't have to be a musician to do it um, auditorily. Some people are just more auditory. It could be a sound of your voice, the sound of someone else's voice. Whatever makes what you want even more compelling, that'll make you gravitate to it more, that is what you're looking for, and that is, that is how the, the secret and the law of attraction works. Now, if you just make mental images of 
miscellaneous stuff that sure you'd like to have, but you're not really, you don't really feel compelled to get, it's probably not going to happen. I made a list of things one time. This person told me to make a list of all the things that I wanted and then create uh, a pathway and, and visualiz visualization and everything to get these things. And one of the things that I put in there was a boat. I don't know why I put that in there. Sure, it would be cool to have a boat. It'd be cool to have a yacht. Most people would agree with that. But I wasn't compelled to have it. So, of course, I didn't get it. Um, I was compelled to be healthy. So I saw an image of myself looking very, very healthy. Now that's very easy for me to eat right and exercise. That's the kind of things that you're looking for. So what really compels you? What are you really compelled to have? And I would just narrow it down to two to three things. Two to three specific things that you want and create an image of it and make that image really compelling by the brightness of it, the rich colors of it, the size of the picture. If a movie is more compelling to you, make it a movie, not a picture. Um, and you can find ways to do this with sound. You know, does you can accompany the picture with sound if you're very auditory. What is music that would go along with this? Or what is, it could be silence, it could be the wind, it could be a person's voice, your own voice, sounding very resonant. And for the feeling, we're not talking about the kinesthetic feeling, because as soon as you see, I mean, we're not talking about the evaluative feeling, because as soon as you see something that you're compelled, you're going to feel that feeling inside, but that's sort of like an evaluative feeling, saying, yes, I want this. I'm talking about the kinesthetic, tactile, or proprioceptive feeling of having that. Maybe it's a sensation of floating or flying. Um, I know I get that whenever I dream a lot. So use those things, use submodalities, and I can, I have other videos on submodalities and I can do more. Um, they're very, very powerful. And that's going to supercharge your goals. And that's going to make this whole idea of the secret and the law of attraction really work for you. Um, I'm not against the law of attraction, I'm not against the secret, but there needs to be more put into it to make it more predictable than just, oh, I'm going to visualize a bike and suddenly it's going to appear the next day. That doesn't quite work that way. And the universe is not here to be your servant, to just give you stuff. You have to work for this. And by visualizing it, you're going to feel compelled to do it. And it's not really going to feel like work so much. Uh, it can sometimes and other times it's not. But you have to be willing to be uncomfortable to change your life. And most people, that's what it takes. You get so uncomfortable, you finally take action. Well, I wouldn't wait to that point. Uh, get uncomfortable now and take some action right away. Law of Attraction um, and The Secret, it doesn't really work unless you take action. Uh, you have to go along with it. You have to recognize those opportunities and seize them and do something about it. Check out our website, nlp-gym.com. Follow us on Facebook. And as I mentioned, um, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please click like right down here and leave a comment. I hope to see you at a future free practice that we have or one of our workshops coming up. Take care.